Hi, I'm James Ward, a technical evangelist for Flex at Adobe. I want to walk you through how we can build and deploy desktop applications using Adobe Air and Flex. There's different ways that we can build desktop applications with Adobe Air. We can use HTML, we can also use Flex. So I'm going to walk through how we do this in Flash Builder 4 with Flex. So I'm in Flash Builder 4. I'm going to create a new Flex project, and I'm going to call it NM. The application that I'm building is going to detect whether we're online or offline, so it's a network monitor. I specify that I want to use a desktop application, and then I just hit Finish. So now in this project, I need to add a few things. First thing is, I want some visual way to determine if we're online or offline. I'm going to add a checkbox. I'm going to give it an ID so that I can reference it, and then I'm going to specify the label to be online. Now I'm going to position this checkbox, so set the horizontal center to zero, and set the vertical center to zero. This will just position it right in the middle of the application. Now I need to actually add the code that detects whether we're online or offline. So I'm going to do this in an application complete event handler, and I'm going to create a new variable called mon, and I'm going to create a URL monitor. And then initialize the URL monitor, and give it a URL request. So I'm actually going to be pulling the adobe.com website to determine whether or not we're online. So I'm going to create the new URL request and set the URL to be http colon slash slash www.adobe.com. So that's my URL monitor. I need to set an event listener so that when we get an event that we've gone online or offline, it'll do something with the checkbox. So to do that, mon.addEventListener, and I'm going to listen for the status event, and then I'm going to create a function that's, that will be called when the status changes. So it takes a parameter of status event and returns void. And now in this function, I'm going to just set the checkbox's selected property equal to the available property on the URL monitor. So I just do event dot current target, which gets me to my URL monitor dot available. Next thing I need to do is tell my URL monitor what its polling interval is. This is how often it's actually going to make that request so that we can configure this to pull less or more often. I'm going to set it to 500 milliseconds. And then I'm going to start the URL monitor. So that's all I really need to do. Let's save this and that will compile that application. And we can run this error application in a debug mode. So I just say run as desktop application. So now we see, here's that application, and we see the checkbox indicating that we're online. I can actually now unplug my network cable, and we'll see that that checkbox is just unchecked because we've gone offline. Let me plug it back in, and now we'll see that the checkbox will be checked again once the URL monitor pulls and figures out that we're back online. There it goes. So now that I've created this Air application, I want to be able to allow people to install that. The way that I do it is I walk through the export release build process. So I say I want to create a release build, and I need to sign my build. So I'm using just a developer certificate to sign this application. Real production applications should be signed by a real certificate authority. So I enter my password, and I hit finish. This has now created the .air file. This file is the cross-platform installer for my Air application. Whether you're on Windows, Mac, or Linux, you can install this application through this single file. So there's also another way to install these Air applications. We can use a badge installer in the browser to actually detect whether or not the user has Air, and if they don't, it'll install Air, uh, and then install the Air application. If the user has Air, we can just give them the Air file, they can double-click on it, and then we can run the installer, and now this application will be installed locally on my machine. So what that means is that from Windows I can access my programs and launch it directly from my Start Programs menu. And we get the same functionality of detecting online and offline, but now this is actually a real installed application. 
So that's how we build a desktop application with Flex and Air that can detect whether or not we're online or offline. If you want to learn more, check out the Adobe Developer Connection.